And police are sending out a warning. Don't leave your valuables in your car. Over the last week, police say they have gotten 36 reports of car break-ins. Last month, there were more than 70 cases reported. In most of the cases, thieves took anything that was of value in a person's car. Police say these break-ins should serve as a reminder to park in well-lit areas, to always lock your doors, and not to leave your valuables inside. Well, we decided to find out just how easy it is for a criminal to gain access to your car. We sent News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday to dig deeper into how the thieves decide which cars they're going to target. And Mark and Heather, I went out with Fort Wayne officer Raquel Foster to a parking lot to see some drivers that are making it easy for thieves to get into their cars and taking their valuables. Take a look at what we found. We received this report from the Fort Wayne Police Department. As you can see, all sides of Fort Wayne have been targeted by thieves committing car break-ins. So we decided to go to a parking lot in town to find out exactly what thieves are looking for and how easy it is for them to get inside. Let's take a look at this field. I'm going to go ahead and leave them a note because what you've got is an unsecured window. Unsecured enough that I can reach my pitly little arm in here and unlock it, which I really don't want to do, but we're going to do that. I've got access to that vehicle now. We're going to check just to see, and this one's unlocked. For some drivers, it would have been easy for a thief to get inside. Even in some cars that were locked, valuable things were left out in the open, and sometimes police say thieves go after the most simple things. Even small items that have been taken, like I told you, medication, loose change has been enough to pique the interest of the criminal element, and they have targeted those cars simply for loose change. Then we came across this Toyota Corolla. That door looks like it might be unsecured. I can't tell. Look at that. We have a, we've got an unsecured door, and inside we've got a GPS unit. We caught up with the driver, and she was surprised that she could have easily become a victim. What are your thoughts about uh, what you learned here today? Um, well, I usually lock my door, so it's kind of weird. I, I don't know. I must have been out of it, but to double check to make sure my doors are locked. Don't leave valuable items inside your vehicle. It really sounds silly, and it sounds so simple. But that really is the best advice. In Fort Wayne, Lamar Holiday, News Channel 15.